Let's go for a lap in iRacing's virtual version of the Global MX-5 Cup car and see what kind of challenges this track holds for us drivers. Crossing the start-finish line, you want to be set up well to the left. We'll brake just before the 200 board, trailing the brakes and pointing the nose so that we can get back to some aggressive throttle. You can be very aggressive here because of the runoff, and you're going to want to be aggressive because there's a long uphill battle. In these uphill S's, you want to concentrate on being as smooth as possible and gaining as much RPM as we can. RPM equals speed, and anything we gain here, we can carry onto this very long straightaway. Now we're on the back straightaway, and this is where the draft can really come into effect. We can get a good toe on someone and get a pass going into the bus stop chicane. It's also an opportunity to check your mirrors and see if someone's trying to challenge you as well. Now we're approaching the most risky and complex part of the track, the bus stop chicane into the outer loop. The car will want to dance through this section, but we want to carry as much speed off of this straightaway through the chicane as we can. We're going to turn in on power, just enough brake to get it down in the fourth gear, back to some maintenance throttle, and we'll pour on the power to really stabilize that rear and carry that speed down into the outer loop. This long corner will really tell you how your car is set up, understeering or oversteering, depending on your settings. Your focus here is not getting the more throttle, but really keeping that minimum speed up as we approach turn six. This part has limited visuals, and the road's always falling away from you. It's very deceiving on exit as well, so you have to be patient getting back to throttle. A good exit here may give you an opportunity to pass going into the boot section. Entering the boot section, the road will start to climb. This elevation will keep the car from understeering, which means we can get to the apex sooner and also get to way more throttle. This will be important down this short straight. Approaching turn eight, we'll be looking for our next braking point. It'll be just before the 100 marker board. I'm gonna take off just a little bit of speed and carry it through up this next hill, and we'll snake over to the right, setting up for turn nine. Turn 9 is another corner with elevation that will help the front end, which means we can turn in a lot earlier than normal, but at this particular corner, tabletops on exit, so we'll have to be prepared to have quick hands to catch any slides. This final section is really fast, and we just breathe the throttle to get the car into the corner, but we'll have to have quick hands to keep the car underneath us, moving the car to the left to set up for the final turn. We'll add light brakes here to get the nose pointed down to the apex, but then feed in the throttle and dance the car out to the wall. A good exit will ensure a lot of speed and hopefully translate to a great lap time as we finish this lap.